Right, well, we're here on our track again. Can you give me a little synopsis of what's happening here? Yeah, well, you come and see some crapo trees. One there, one across there is like the, the whole area in crapo. And crapo seed is one of the dear favorite nuts. Yeah. As you can see here, that's right here, Alex. Deer mash. Fresh. Mm -hmm. But his poop, his yeah. poop are a little stale. We have a little deer droppings here. Yeah. But as you see, we have deer droppings here. We have a fresh deer mash. We have a stale deer mash. That leads to believe that this is a track that is very well traveled. So we have old mashing, new mashing. Old droppings, right? I can see the area muddy, it pitch up. So that leads us to believe that this deer frequent in this area a lot. Yeah. Right? So if you was going to build a scaffold here, Ching, tell me. Well, let me get the people I'm a little span of the area. Yeah. Well, then, if you, well, Alex, if you really check, right? If you already check, you look for an uh, open, open area where you have an uh, advantage at the only point, only points, right? So you're watching in, in a circumference that all the crap of trees is like in a circle here. Right. So if, you, if you're based in the center of it, right. I feel you can have an advantage. You, know? you might have a better chance of yeah, right? getting a shot. Because as you can see, the animal comfortable, passing up and down, mm -hmm. it have drop in, so... You know the, the animal basically you know this 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 zone. Whoop! Whoop! Right. So alright. So a novice person, a person who, you know, fresh in the game, would say, okay look, we need center but look at a too nice tree here. Now we pop our scaffold here. What do you think about this spot? Well it it's okay now, Alex. It's okay. Right? All right. As as you could see, as you could see the the undergrowth, the undergrowth ends so thick. Right. You, you, you get penetrate through. So you must, it have a hill point to the, to the front of you there. Uh -huh. Then it have a drop zone on your left side. Right. So I believe, I believe this spot is a, is a hundred. All right. Yeah. So if I'm on looking to build a scaffold here, what do you think, a, a, a medium side, a tall scaffold? A tall scaffold because you want to be above the animal. You want to be above that oh. way you can see the undergrowth properly. Right. You understand? No. All right. So, my two cents on this is deer tackling here. Mm -hmm. So, a deer is an animal known for being at a certain height. Yeah. And deer hunters tend to be 15 to 20 feet in height, especially in our open areas where the deer have visibility. True. You want a high scaffold to be able to reach there. Now, me personally, I do like the open spot that it have here. It have a tree next to it, that is okay. If I was to build a scaffold here, more than likely, I would have built it just off, right on that tree there. Right. So I would have put my back towards that tree. So I would have get blind off in a way that one area would have be covered. And I have, would have enough height. I ain't building as high, but I would have a good yeah, enough you're advantage back, point. You're back against, it's come like your back against the wall. Correct. So yeah. you're kind of in a sense, hiding yourself from that side now your visibility will be less True. but at the same time you will have a tree behind you to shadow you off so an animal wouldn't see a silhouette any night right so plenty of plenty, plenty others wouldn't understand that that you need to have a background sometime now, yeah now that is a vital point eh? mm -hmm. vital vital point yeah so you need to have cover the most important thing remember you in this animal zone this is not your zone this is their zone this is like their house exactly and the same way you know your house at home, you can walk around in the dark, they know their house here. So you have to find a way to get an advantage. And the advantage over here is height. Right? So you need to be high up. But at the same time, in moonlight, an animal might plainly see you high up there. Now, you could very well be up there and get a shot at an animal, you know, because of the height advantage. But you want a backdrop. I would have chosen that spot. That would have been my spot if I had to choose a spot. I would have chosen there, but I passed careful at that height. And be able to shoot because at the same time too you want to be able to see what's what what taking place down here 
but you don't want anything to see you watching so i mean a good portion of it does be not only planning but luck so what is for you as the hunter say what is for you will be for you so that is just with two cents on you know setting up scaffolds anything you want to add to that thing well i think that is that's basically you know the, the vital points there so again always look at the area where the animal coming from you know and and do your best as we all just try right right yeah an important thing to remember guys try your best to not to come and hunt alone come on with a friend come with a, a partner come with a crew because the bush you know there's certain dangers out here that you know you have to pay in mind it has snakes you know the bush sometimes wet you could fall always try to hunt with somebody who trustworthy and reliable exactly you understand so we have uncle jai coming through and bowing bush there quiet yeah jai where you see there why where you come across there Tattoo like that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same as here. Yeah, but it looks like it's there. Yeah, there's a big acre here. But we ain't seen no bearing on this one yet. Surely different um, weather. Yeah, yeah. some Rainy trees would be here, some trees. Sun, yeah. You know how the flooring pattern change? Yeah. So.